Hi everybody, so I got a lot of questions about how to do a blog filter, um, how to set that up on your page. And I'm going to show you with Elementor how to do that. And there's a few options and I'll explain which one is the best. So let's, let's get started. The first one is a standard post widget that Elementor provides. Um, this is the one here, right here. It's only available with Elementor Pro. Um, and you can see it gives you a lot of information, has different uh, styling options, but uh, it doesn't have a filter with it. So for this example, I literally just added um, a list and these were links. So I'll show you. So you open it and it doesn't filter, it just goes to the, the page with all the all the events. So clearly this is a this is a fail. <laughs> uh, the next option is also with Elementor um, Pro and it's the portfolio widget. And this is definitely better, has a filter um, that comes with it. So you can see here it has a filter, but um, the only problem is it barely gives any information. You don't see the, the date or the category. It just lists the blog, the blog title. Um, so it's this widget here. Comes with Elementor Pro. So if that's all you need, then it's probably a good option uh, for you. Okay. And... Uh, there is a little bit of styling, but uh, not a whole lot. Finally, the last and the best option, and this one's even free, is uh, called the Premium Blog Widget. And this has everything, has a filter, and it includes all the blog uh, information that you need. You can remove some of this, has a lot of, a lot of design options so you could you could this is where you add the um, you add the filter here under advanced settings yes for filter and um, you can even do different uh, kind of style and how you want to your post to show So there's a lot of um, cool uh, design capabilities. You could even do a pagination at the bottom here. So uh, this is, to get this um, widget, it's right here under premiumaddons.com. And you go to Elementor Widgets, and it's right here, Block. I'll put a um, link in my my on com this the comment section and you can just literally just download it from there add it as a plugin and update it to your wordpress site and it's free so anyway i hope that helped i know a lot of people are wondering how to do that and yeah like and subscribe if you found this video to be helpful